Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke, you know. Jack, you're such a versatile performer. You really should be a big musical comedy star on Broadway. Oh, Broadway. Thanks a lot, Judy. I just bought a home here in California. And when the smog lifts, I'll get a beautiful view of the fog laying on me. <laughs> Why are you sending me to Broadway? Judy, you belong on Broadway. Well, I'll go if you will, too. Hey, I think we could kill him. Right. Why do they rave about those Broadway stars? To me, it's a mystery. When you've got such talent and I've got good looks, there but for them go we. Just for fun, let's play a game and see how many shows we can name that might have been better. And got their money back. Yeah. If they'd have had Judy and Jack. <laughs> hey, just imagine, Judy, instead of Ethel Merman and Ray Middleton and Annie Get Your Gun, it might have been Garland and Carter and oh. Annie Get Your Gun Hi. on Broadway. Hey, yeah. I can sing like Ray Middleton. Yeah. All you gotta do is just sing out of the side of your mouth like he did, you know? Defenses are down. She's weak in my resistance, and I don't know where I am. I went into the fight like a lion, and I came out like a lion. And I could have sung out of this side of my mouth, like Ethel Merman does. Sure. They say that falling in love is wonderful, wonderful. What a show. I know a guy who went to see Annie Get Your Gun, sat dead center in the best seats and says, I didn't hear a word all night. <laughs> she was over there, him here, I couldn't hear <laughs> Now, they might have used a homegrown American lad like me instead of an Italian to play the French planter in South Pacific. Don't worry, I'll stretch till ready. Music, planter, ready. This nearly was mine. One moment in paradise. One moment in paradise that nearly was mine. I washed that man right out of my hair. I washed that man right out of my hair. I washed that man right out of my hair. Right hair. Right hair. Right hair. I'm standing on his way. This nearly was mine. Goodbye to paradise. Oh. And they didn't have to go all the way to England to get Rex Harrison and Julie Andrews. We were available. I can just see us now. I've grown accustomed to her face. <laughs> like breathing out and breathing in. I've grown accustomed to the tune. She whistles night and noon. Her smiles, her frowns, her ups, her downs, are second nature to me now. But I want to know one thing. Why can't a woman be more like a man? I mean, a woman should be more manly, more, more calm and graceful. A woman shouldn't be like that. And All and... I want is a room somewhere <laughs> Far away from the cold night air With one in all the chair One paper. Only tuppence. Tuppence? Tuppence. How about boppins? Nothings. Nothings? <laughs> I think we're in truppins out there. I told you to wait in the Thames. Now get on the London Bridge. Do you understand me? Jack, you've got to admit oh. that when Rex and Julie did that show, they were prizes, weren't they? In my fair lady, it was a wonderful show. Do you remember the night the show opened? Oh, I certainly do, you know. <laughs> do I remember? Because the very next night, I opened in a show on Broadway, myself and Sammy Davis Jr., right next oh, door. Oh, yeah, there was a wonderful show. As a matter of fact, it was called Mr. Wonderful. Mr. Wonderful, and that's right. And there were some great songs. In it. Shall we? Shall we? Be my guest. Be wise. Be wise. Be smart. Be smart. Behave my heart. Don't set upset your car. You're so close now. Be soft. Be soft. Be sweet. Be sweet. But be discreet. Don't go off your feet. She's too close for comfort. One thing leads to another To right to run for cover She's much too close for comfort now Oh, there's much more I can say But the words, the words keep slipping away And I'm left with only one point of view Mr. 
Mr. Wonderful. Oh, really, Judy? <laughs> Mr. Wonderful. I guess she means me. Mr. Wonderful.